Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be checking out a really cool sailing catamaran called Nautitec 40 Open. And to show us around, I have Dave Brotherton with Catamaran Company. Hi, Hi there. Dave. Hey guys, this is a 2019 Nautitec Open 40 and let's go for a, let's go for a quick tour. Let's go check it out. The hulls on a Nautitec are V-shaped and the hulls on all the other production casts like Lagoons and FPs are all like bathtub shaped. Nautitecs don't have dagger boards and most performance cats do. Right. But with the V-shaped hulls, they really achieve nearly the same performance without the dagger boards. So it's kind of a unique setup. Hmm. That in the large sail area, like if yep. you notice how low the boom is on this, this has a really large square, a square main top mainsail anyway. and Nautitex always comes stock with a bowsprit and a top down furling jenniker. So that's that in the, the fine V-shaped hulls are what make this point like a monohull. And you'll notice that when you're walking through the hallways or, you know, the hulls for a mm -hmm. lack of a better term, because Again, there's not as much space as on the FP or the Lagoons because of the narrower hulls. So. Got it, but it's a better performance. Yes. Okay, let's check it out. Cool. Dave, you lead the way. Okay, sure. All right, guys, right this way. So the Nautitec Open 40 has a humongous cockpit and that's the claim to fame. This was the design aesthetic for this entire boat was this humongous cockpit. Um, and the cockpit, how the cockpit flows seamlessly into the main salon. Oh, that's a big door. Is, is another great feature. The double uh, sliding doors that open help uh, achieve that fact. So we've got this big cockpit in a much smaller salon area. Yes, yes, by design. Got it. But this, this is really massive. It's yeah. big. I, I honestly think this is like the perfect quintessential Southern California catamaran nicely be shielded because runner. you can achieve double digit uh, speeds on this boat in Southern California when, you know, we have light winds in Southern California. So when you have 12 knots of wind, you're absolutely going to be sailing this boat. When you have 10 knots or less in a lagoon or a, a, another production boat, like a you know, I'm not going to name names, but you might not be sailing. You might right. be, you might be motor sailing. So Correct. this is a light boat too. This is a, a 40 foot Nautitec open is a full two tons lighter than a 40 foot lagoon. Huh, and I'm a lagoon dealer, so I don't have anything bad to say about lagoons. It's just, this is a lighter, higher performing boat. Also, I, I feel like it depends where you use the boat. Like in, in Southern California, like you said, most of the time, the weather outside is perfect. You, we, no. we don't use air conditioning no, when no. we are boating. It doesn't matter what time of the, the year you're in. By the way, this boat does have air conditioning, generator, and a life raft. What I'm saying is that you most of the time using the cockpit. Like yes, when we're yeah. in the Caribbean, oh, yeah. a oh. lot of the times you're having breakfast maybe inside in the salon because I mean, it's too hot. I've lived in San Diego for 25 years and I don't even we don't even have air conditioning. So this is this so you is, don't need it down yeah. here as long as you're near the water. This is really yeah. a useful space in Southern California for sure. Sure, even yeah. more so because you yeah. will be using this a lot and the salon maybe not as much because mm -hmm. you can always be outside here it's never Absolutely. like too hot and, and what we noticed like compared to any kind of flybridge boat if it's a power yacht or whatever um, you're usually always out in the elements and the wind is cold in California most of the time I mean except maybe one month out of the year yeah. and this massive cockpit is wind protected because you're obviously in the lee of the yes. of the salon it's got and a nice little shielded kind of corner and it's it's fantastic and yeah you have these here yeah, let's just focus in on these for a second even these little winglets windows here um i mean this is fantastic little storage space. area is that, oh, yeah. a, is that a wet space on top there or just the storage mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's got a drain, drain. it has a drain yeah. okay yeah mm -hmm. perfect yeah, it's got a drain here Anything else cool storage wise and well like this makes into a settee like a chaise lounge so that, oh, that tilts up. Cool. Um oh, okay. what That's else? Really uh, there's tons of storage under here. 
There's more storage under there. And this um, here as well? There's... This, there's a life raft in here. Oh. And the life raft oh, has, has the bottom, the bottom is, uh, drops out. So you can be underneath the boat and drop the life raft. No way. Oh, that's yeah. Fantastic. So it's a, uh, it's a compartmental bottom that releases. So you can, you know. That's really cool. You wanna, wanna open the storage over there? Just oh, to, sure. it looks massive. So I just wanted to show, oh, it is wow. really big and deep. Yeah a lot of exterior storage like a lot so what is obviously jumps out at me right away is the the dual home all right guys so you probably already noticed that the Nautitech open 40 has a uh, has dual outside helms in the aft portion of the boat these helms are absolutely ideal for docking the boat because I can see the entire hull length al along here and they're also perfect for checking out your sail trim. So I have a perfect view of, of all three sails right here. After docking some bigger catamarans in my life, it is extremely convenient. You have the lifelines open there and you dock the boat it's two steps. You're yes. on the dock yes. and you tie up your stern line. I mean, so that is that is definitely extremely safe and convenient. Absolutely. So I've got everything I need right here. So if you All of, this, this is an electric winch for for the main halyard, uh -huh. um, but everything I need to control the sails comes comes aft to right here. So uh, it's a pretty easy as single-handed person too. Super easy to control the boat. The, like we mentioned, the jib is a self-tacking jib, mm -hmm. so you, nobody has to switch the jib sheets as as we go through a tacking maneuver. Yeah. Uh, super easy. The mainsail is a square top, oversized main. That's what one of the things that lends to the performance of the Nautitech Open 40 is that a huge mainsail. So uh, the boom is quite low. If you ever have a tangled reefing line or anything like that, it's very accessible. This top is super solid. You could put, you can fit many people up there or a, a, a lot of solar panels. Yeah, well, let's, let's see like it that. from this side. Basically, if you're a person who loves to sail with lots of friends who have no idea what they're doing, it's mm. a perfect boat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because no. you can you can be comfortable sailing. You don't need that much help at all, and you know you can, you have a lot of people and just a great you know Dale sail weekender. It's great. All right, let's go Absolutely. forward. Yeah. Oh sure. <laughs> Feels nice and wide. Yeah. Wow. So this can all be cushions if you wanted to. I mean, oh, you a, a ton of solar panels. This is a uh, a rain gutter that yep. is designed to catch water if if uh, you need it to to be. So if you do any offshore passages. By the way, guys, one of these Nautitech Open 40s has sailed across the Pacific and across the Atlantic in uh, our two different models, both this past year. So this is considered a blue water boat. Nice. So you are able to collect the rainwater from the from the coach. Roof? Not how it's set up right now, but if you with a slight modification, mm -hmm. you could easily. People have done that. Huh. That's, that's yeah. and they brilliant. they made it this way by design. Yep. Oh, this is so comfortable. So right. the main yeah, the main is very low on the Nautitech 40. That's because it, you have a huge sail area for increased performance, and that's also what makes this sail very easy to attend to. So if you have any tangled reefing lines. Mm -hmm. Any issues with the sail really at all? Safe. Like, if you, don't... you need to get get up to attend to the sail for any reason, this is a very easy boat to, to, to do that. You don't even need to climb up any kind of little ladders or something to well, even what I'm put, saying. put the main helmet on. I'm always like, I feel like I'm either holding someone or someone's holding yep. me, and it's always just I mean, there's look this at, look at the nerve wracking. 450. You need a boat hook to get to that main sail. Yeah, yeah it's it's hard, and that's you know you're usually <laughs> holding someone's legs to make sure that you know it's windy, and yeah, this is really safe. I like this a lot. Cool, all right. What do we got here? The trampolines on these boats are really modern. The attachment points are underneath, which give you a nice flush, uh, flush top deck and nothing to stub your toe on, nothing to trip on. Yeah. 
huge feature with every Nautisec Open 40 is the bowsprit and the top-down furling headsail or the top-down furling jenniker that comes with the boat. That's standard with every Nautitech 40. So uh, these boats are performance boats by design. Yeah, and it is a pretty long uh, bowsprit actually. It is. Compared to some other catamaran yep. bowsprits I've seen. Yep. So I see we have hatches as well, which is nice for cross breeze on yep. the inside. Are these storage areas? These are, yeah. So you have the water tanks and additional storage in here. You have the windlass in here. Oh, wow, big. The four peaks are pretty large on this boat, so a ton of storage, but you don't want to put you don't want to put these anything too heavy in here. So we have our Jenniker down here, fenders, extra sails, fishing equipment, anything like that yeah, would be that's perfect. So deep. At some point we should do a different video and actually uh, take one out. There are uh, amateur YouTube videos out there of people going 20 knots in flat water in this boat. Wow. So wow. Not, not surfing down waves hitting 20 knot speeds, but sustained 18, 19, 20 knot hull speeds in flat water. Wow. I'm pretty so. sure some of the, the viewers might ask, can you fly a hull with this? Mm, I doubt it. Do you want to? I doubt it. The, you could try, but I doubt it. We're talking about taking one out and sailing it. If you guys think that's a good idea, put it in the comments. Maybe we'll do a separate video about that. Absolutely. Okay, let's uh, check out inside. Oh, this looks interesting. What's that doing? All right, this is a chart table that you pull chart? pull the latch here and it, it Well, I'm going to take these cushions away. So you take the cushions take off. Take the cushions off. Ah. Grab here. Look at that. Comes up. Check that out. That's you know really what? cool. That would be my uh, morning coffee breakfast nook. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I you think you would use it all the time. And you got another uh, chart plotter repeater here. Chart plotter, here, right? uh, autopilot, uh, complete. System yep. controls right here. Yep. I'm gonna say I actually have never seen that anywhere before. That's pretty brilliant. Could be on you can on all the boats. If you wanted an interior table, there is a three-person table that mounts right mm -hmm. here. So. But why would you? I mean, you've got massive I think table this outside. Is fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is our little galley this here. Is burn a cooktop with even an oven which is nice oh hello trash Sorry and space in there cool you do have your uh, little sink here little sink there cute cute little cute little galley and there's something here also a little storage it's area really cool hatches up on top, hatches here. If you have that open, that's probably feeling really nice underway. Unless you have a lot of water <laughs> coming, spraying. There's a little, little storage here on the side as well. Okay, so we've got two cabins here. All right, so walking aft on the starboard mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. There is a little, let's, let's see what's going on. So there's, oh, that's like kind of an open, sto oh wow, it's deep. Yeah, a little storage underneath. And there's something here, I'll let you go in here okay, first. Okay, let me go through. And then I think you're gonna have Good to open nice this. Good nice size windows. Yep, we got a closet. Hanging closet and 
little shelving. You ready to open? Yep. Hello. And air conditioned. Yes. So here we've got some space. Mm -hmm. Shelves here. Some access. Yep. Okay, I think you do this okay. with, without me. So they have a shared head and shower mm -hmm. between the two cabins. We'll close that door. There we go. Oh, cool. Cool. So you've got a little storage right on this side. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, access, that's right? Access, that's access, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we've got a couple here on well, that's this side, good size. and that. Yep. I don't see any hanging closets here, but I'm sure the owner's cabin is going to have some. Oh, was there a hanging one on, where you had on the other side? No. Right? Yeah, it was half, half. Half, yeah, I think it's the same. same. Yeah, it's exactly the same here. So the forward starboard cabin. Okay, let's check out the port side. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like a proper cabin. It's great, oh, yeah, especially that's... for a performance camera. It's pretty cool. So you've got this door you can close. Yeah. Like that, obviously. Um, there's storage behind it. Yep. There's some breakers here. Can you see that? Just open it. Oh, you got your 110 breakers. I assume. Another closet space. Yeah. And there's another closet behind another you. Another one right here. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. Yeah, this is a hanging closet. Pretty good, a hanging closet. There's a lower space there. Space up here as well. Also, you've got these here. Yeah, not bad. Tons of. Space. Okay. This feels nice and bright, actually. Really airy. Could even have two things if you wanted to. It's a yeah, lot. It's a good size. It's a lot of good size head. And a good size shower. Nice walk yeah, this, in. This cabin for sure doesn't feel. Does it feel small? Or... This must be access of some sort. Holding tank. And then these ones are all opening. Yeah, these are storage. There we go. Oh yeah, that's yeah, great. That's, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm, that's plenty. Okay. Cool. And yep. same like a half. And there's a nice hanging closet over there, a big mm -hmm. size. Yeah, it's pretty good size. Good size both. This concludes our tour of Nodetech Open 40. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for showing it to us, Dave. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Come down to San Diego and check us out anytime. If you guys want any information interested in the boat, I'm going to put it all in the description below. You can contact Dave. And as always, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Really means a lot. Really appreciate it. Ciao. Hi, guys. Welcome to our... Bye. All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Okay, cool, let's do that. This concludes our tour of Naughty Tech Open 40. Naughty Tech Open 40. Mm -hmm. Thank you for showing it to us. Hey, my ah. pleasure. Make sure we're still good. Say something. Uh, 
Okay, good. I just want to make sure it's still on. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's still on. My yeah. microphone turned off the other day by itself.